up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we're gonna talk about when you should get into a stock trade, like literally the exact second. And oop, okay. So the main focus here is going to be your entry strategy. This can work on day trading or swing trading. And the only difference will be the stock chart timeframes um, that you're using. We're gonna talk about swing points, indicators like the RSI, MACD, and moving averages, trend lines, and consecutive price patterns. I'm sure you guys have heard about most of those, but there's a couple on there that are gonna be fairly new to us. But first, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps bring more people to the channel and also subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. And also if you're new to options trading and you're stuck on what stocks to trade options on or even different option strategies like credit spreads, earning report plays and more, there's a service called Tiblio that offers amazing stock option picks and a great selection of strategies to choose from. So make sure that you check them out. They update the list within every hour of the trading day with the best stock picks. So make sure to check out Tiblio. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also make sure that you use my link for 20% off of your first month. Yeah, make sure you do that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. With any stock trade, the entry position is gonna be one of the top three most important steps in your stock trading setup, period. Dang. Then, of course, you have your stop loss levels and your profit target range. Basically, that's how much you would expect to get from this trade. So, you know, what's the what's the profit that we're gonna get? So it could be one, five, 10, or shoot, even 100%, whatever your preferred outcome is. Now, all of this is gonna be subjective and you're gonna develop your own criteria for trading as you go along. Be mindful of that. For example, you may have rules in your entry strategy that you'll only enter a trade when the stock moves X, Y, Z, so-and-so dollar amount from a previous resistance point, or maybe after a five and 10 day EMA crossover. And then at the same time, it has to have an RSI value of at least 30 and below. Something like that. Like I said, it's all subjective and it's gonna be up to you. So you're gonna have your own criteria for when you want to enter a stock trade. Let's go over a few good entry signals that you can use to find your perfect stock entry point. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna find is the swing point. I know a lot of you were gonna expect it to be the stock trend because I literally say that in every video. But for this, I'll just say leave that to the stock picking process. And that's the process of actually picking the stock that you, you know, that you wanna trade and deciding if it's even something that you wanna invest in, period. So I have a previous video that's talking about finding stock value, but for this video, we already know what the stock's value is. We already know that we're interested in it. And right now we're looking specifically for when we want to get into the trade. So the swing point is an easy chart pattern to find that has three main candlesticks that you're gonna focus on. So the swing points are gonna happen during bullish and bearish patterns. So it'll happen in both uptrend and downtrend. Let's say if you were wanting to get into a stock trade, and like I say, I like to trade uptrending stocks. So what's the best time to get into an uptrending stock? You probably don't wanna get into it when it's at its highest point because after that, a lot of people might capture their profits and sell off. And then you're gonna, you know, have some losses there. You know, who knows how long that's gonna last. So what I'm saying is finding the best point to get into the stock. And to do that, you're gonna want a slight trend reversal, okay? And a trend reversal will only happen after a swing point develops, okay? So let's actually get into the swing point. For entries on uptrending stocks, you're gonna look for a price pullback or a swing low point. So when you have a stock that's trending upwards, the most profitable profitable time to enter is gonna be on a price pullback. Think basically buy low, sell high, okay? So for an uptrending swing low, the first candle is gonna make a low. So the first candle that you're gonna see is gonna be a low dipping candlestick. The second candle is gonna make a lower low. So it's gonna be lower than the first one. And then that third candlestick is gonna make a higher low. So that third candle is gonna tell us that the sellers are weaker than the buying power at that time. And so the stock is more likely to reverse 
this and go upwards. So I have a picture that I wanna look at. So see how the pattern consists of a low, a lower low, and then higher low? This is a classic swing point low. So this is the one, two, three. A low, another low, and a higher low. Our entry strategy would be to enter this stock on the day of that third candle. Because you know, after that, it's up, baby, it's up. So this is gonna be for an uptrending stock. For entries on downtrending stocks, you're gonna look for a swing point high. The first candlestick makes a high, the, sec the, the second candlestick makes a higher high, and then the third candlestick is gonna make a lower high. That third candle tells you that the selling power is stronger than the buyers, and then the stock is likely to reverse downwards. So now this is gonna be on a downtrending stock. So if you are shorting a stock, or maybe if you even had options or something like that, when you're gaining profit on a stock going down, this is how you would enter that. So this would be the best time to enter, you know, a downtrending stock. Looking at this stock chart right here, you see how the patterns consist of a high, that's number one, a higher high, number two, and then a lower high, that's number three. So we would look for entry on that third candle day. And actually, I wanted to show, okay, so I wanted to show some examples of this on an actual stock chart. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so we're on the FNKO. So this is FNKO right now. Okay, so looking at this stock chart right here, we have different uh, different candlesticks. So let me change the time frame here. All right, so looking right here where we had a trend change and we're going from a downtrend to an uptrend. So we're looking for a swing low. All right, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so right here where you see that change, you have a low, you have a lower low, and then you have a higher low. So this would be, you know, a good day to get in there. Boom, then you have an uptrend. So this would have been a good time to get in on that trade. And let's see, maybe another area. Essentially, this is kind of day trading, really. Let me change the time frame. I'll change it back to that. Okay, so let's look right here. No, actually, let me try a different stock. I'll try Tesla. Oh, Tesla's not doing so hot right now. So uh, I wanna see, a, okay, right here. So Tesla was dropping, and so right here, you see a low a lower low and then a higher low and then the stock you know starts to rise there now that's not a huge rise okay but there are different patterns that you can you know kind of look for low lower low higher low and then she starts to increase in price that's something to look for and then on the let me look on the opposite end too where it was on an uptrend and then it starts to drop you know a high you have a high a higher high and then a lower high and then the start the stock starts to drop there so i mean you know there's just some some candlesticks that you can look for a high higher high lower high starts to drop there so just different little patterns the important thing to remember is that not all swings are going to be powerful so some miss the mark fully changing the trend. You know, some of these are just small ripples. As you'll see, they didn't have a full trend reversal. No, so know that for the best result with this method is going to be matching it with signals from other indicators, you know, like the RSI or, you know, moving averages, uh, the MACD to name a few. And then of course, trend lines. So you gotta use the trend. The trend is your friend and support and resistance. And also volume. So there's there's so many different indicators that you, that you can use together just with using the candlestick. So for example, looking right here, I see that the RSI is extremely overbought right here. So I know right now the RSI is very high. More than likely, the stock might have uh, these MACD lines and signal R. So right here, okay, you, okay right here you would know you have a a larger drop matched with this RSI and this high MACD dropping here and then you see this signal trades on top so there's obviously there's gonna be different things that you can use like this dip here just dip and then when you see the MACD start to fall below the center line here then you know that you're really going to have a deep dip and then of course the low RSI too so uh, matching that as far as an entry point an entry point like I said also uh, you would look for a lower RSI value so you see See, like I said before in the beginning of the video, you might only want RSIs that are around 20 to 30 for an entry point. So you can enter there. Look down at your RSI, look at your candlestick. What do you have? A low, a lower low and a higher low. And then boom, you have a low RSI and you can see right here a crossover with the MACD. So there's a few different things um, that would signal to you that that would be a good time to get in. Now, maybe the EMA lines wouldn't be the best because you see here, I don't have a crossover until the 
the middle of this uptrend. I always want to use uh, di different indicators together, different indicators together. We're not just going off of just one. So the best the entry point may be found by finding the three swing candle chart along with uh, an RSI of 40 on an uptrending chart or maybe even an EMA crossover. So make sure to pair it with indicators like that. And lastly, you're going to want to find consecutive price patterns. Consecutive meaning something that is arranged or happening in sequential order. So it's really, it's pretty basic. Just think of three consecutive days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So with the consecutive price movements, you want to trade stock that have consecutive down days before the swing point low begins so just an example right here you know I'm already I'm already here or excuse me before the swing low we've had a consecutive down day let's go here all right just right here we have some lows we have low days right here so I have consecutive lows little high there consecutive low and then we have one you know, really good run or an uptrend where it hit a high of 900. So what is this? This is Tesla. I don't know, to be honest with you, Tesla, she's really, that stock chart is hard to even look at because you know, she goes up and down based on Elon sending out tweets and mess going on SNL. So maybe we should use somebody else somebody that's a little bit more stable honey but I think you guys you guys pretty much get what I'm saying here so you can use all of these different indicators together to give you entry signals um, like I always say the RSI low RSI well that's not the best time to get in so you see right here you have a low RSI but it's still on a down trending stock so the RSI is really gonna give you the strength of that trend right now we're in a trend like I said you want it you want to trade stocks that have had consecutive down days before the swing point low begins uh, begins developing you know we're gonna move into our new trend. And then I'll be the opposite. It'll be the opposite for a downtrending stock. In that case, you wanna look for consecutive up days prior to the to the swing point high develop. You see here, before the stock started to drop, we had you know a few consecutive up days, and then we have a huge drop. So that's just it, that's just that's the way it's gonna go. That's the way it, that's the way it plays. Uh, you're gonna have pullbacks. Everybody is trying to get into a stock before the other traders do. Okay, if you get in too early, you're gonna lose money. If you get in too late, you're gonna lose money. So it's challenging, but this is what makes the game so much fun to play. Yeah, make sure um, that you're reading every day, even if it's just 10 pages in a, in a book. Make sure that you're reading books on business, finance and then also on personal improvement you know your personality conversation how to be a better speaker everything like that we're always constantly improving to be our better self so um yeah but i guess that's pretty much all i wanted to say uh, yeah i really appreciate you guys watching this video make sure that you subscribe we are on our way to 100k i think we have maybe 79,000 now while i'm filming this so thank you guys so much for watching the channel and support once again Make sure that you guys click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also make sure that you subscribe, click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. And yeah, that's Foxtel Digital. I'm out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right. Yeah.